Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emanuel, I'm an airline pilot and in this video let's detail how to avoid your instruments freezing up while you enter the route in the ATR. Now, the reason why your FMC froze up was mostly because the routes were entered in a way that was not exactly forecast to be used that way. The reason for that is the similarity between the ATR FMC and the Airbus FMC, which most flight simmers therefore believed things could be entered in the same way. But that is not quite correct. So obviously you can enter things in the same way and it should work, but as we all know it doesn't at the moment. So let's go ahead and look into how you can actually enter a flight plan. And after that, let's quickly talk about some possible reason why there was such a difference and why an issue like that can make it into a release version. In the end, you will see that it all comes down to the video I released a few days earlier that please, dear developers, include proper manuals in your products. However, let's go right into the cockpit and see how you can avoid an issue like this from happening. As always, we will be using Sim Toolkit Pro, where I am displaying my SimBrief flight plan in the Ryanair format. So, in here we are basically done with the pre-flight and so far as that we only need to fill out our FMC. But let's go ahead and do that. We are currently in Frankfurt and we are going to fly our plane towards Hamburg. As always, it takes the FMC a little moment from the time that you press the LSK over here to load everything associated with the airport. And um, once that is done, you can continue. I'm just quickly going to put my flight ID in. Execute that. Select our departure runway, in this case 25 Center with the Maroon 7 mic departure and no transition. And here comes the big difference. Now, the majority of you guys would simply go to airway and they would enter the airway they want to fly right there. So looking into our flight plan, they would enter Yankee 153 Type that in, like this, and now put it on here. Do not do that. That is what causes the instruments to hang up. Instead, without anything in your scratch pad, click the LSK next to the airway button, which brings up the list of all airways that are intersecting with this waypoint. Now we select where we want to go, in this case Yankee 153, and we should go to Whiskey Romeo Bravo. Once again, do not type this in and put it on here. We don't do that. Instead, just leave it empty, go to the list, and select the waypoint where you want to fly to. So from Maroon, we want to go to Whiskey Romeo Bravo. Select that, and now you can continue with the next one. In this case, Papa 1-2, towards the waypoint Nauta. And like this, you can now enter pretty much your entire route, and you do not have to be afraid of your FMC hanging up after this. So, if you follow this procedure, then you basically don't have to be afraid of any problems. Like this, we now have our route. We can now quickly select our landing runway, and that is going to be it. So, looking for the Noel Go to Whiskey arrival here, we'll take the transition. And that's it. Okay, now we've got our complete route programmed. And as you can see, the FMC did not freeze up. Now, why is there such a big difference when you are programming the FMC that way versus the other? Well, that is a question which I cannot answer. However, what I can briefly talk about is a possible reason why something like this might make it through the beta program. And the reason for that is actually quite simple. Now, this is only me personally guessing, by the way. This is not something I've ever had officially confirmed by the developers. However, the reason I'm expecting for stuff like this, and I have seen similar stuff happening on add-ons that I beta tested in the past. Um, the reason why we might see this happening is because of the similarities between the ATR avionics and the Airbus avionics. So naturally, in the lack of any decent manual, the flight simmer is going to treat the avionics exactly the way they are used to from similar looking devices. Similar looking devices, in this case, is the Airbus A320 FMC. So, if you did it like that, you ran into the problem. But why did it not appear in the beta test then? Well, that's for quite a simple reason. 
Now, beta tests are often done by subject matter experts, like I am for the Boeing 737 at the moment, and they are going to handle the avionics in the very same way how they handle the avionics in real life. Now, if you followed the procedure that these guys probably used in real life, which is entering everything from the lists rather than typing the stuff, the problem did not appear and therefore it was not detected during the beta testing phase. And that is often as simple as it possibly gets. So as you can see, easy going, and when you follow the correct procedure, the thing works. However, at this point I am referring to my video on my plea for developers to include decent product manuals, which would really make life a lot simpler. However, in the lack of those, we unfortunately have to find this stuff out ourselves. And with this in mind, I do hope that you will be able to enjoy flying your ATR until the next update drops. For now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then do let me know in the comments below. And also let me know about what you think and how you think these things can be avoided in the future. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to see you all again hopefully very soon.